But what kind of music do fishes like? Something catchy. <laughs> because they get caught. Perfect. So this shoe, in my opinion, doesn't get spoken about nearly enough as it should. And for me, it's a cult classic. And yeah, you might be shocked about this one. Anyways, anyways, it is in today's episode, the Nike Shocks R4. got a bit of a bone to pick with nike because of how they've handled the nike shocks not only the r4 but the tls as well i don't know what it is it's like they don't want to give it to us in bigger sizing it's so weird even when the tls first came back out it was like yes everyone was excited but when he looked at the sizing it was like where are they and just like these a lot of places have only got women's sizing now, i'm gonna try my hardest to leave some links down below to purchase but yeah just bear with me broskies i'll try so the r4s what's sort of different compared to the TLs and what's better and what's worse. Before we talk about that though, let's talk about the box. Now yeah, nothing too exciting, a red standard Nike one. But the product sticker does say Nike Shocks R4 and the official colorway is black, black, black and max orange. Now if you haven't seen my TL review, of course go over to that because I do talk a lot about the history with the Nike Shocks technology and how the silhouette first came about. So I am going to sort of gloss over all of the history just because I'm going to be repeating myself. But of course comparing it to the TL itself, yes there's a lot of differences. Some good, some bad and a lot of people are going to prefer these over those and those over these. So yeah, it all comes down to what you like. Now in terms of looks, this has a less bulkier feel just because it only has four springs. Compared to the TL where yes, TL stands for total and the whole shoe is covered underneath with the springs. I'm a bit torn because I do think the TLs do look a little bit better, but at the same time, I like how the R4s feel on foot. I feel like because the R4s only have four springs, it's a little bit more balanced on foot, but there's not too much in it. I mean, they're both very comfortable and yes, they do look super good on foot and i did say this on the live stream the other day the r4s from the top down that view is one of the best looking shoes ever and i do stand by that it just looks so good and yeah some might argue looking from the side view it's not the best looking shoe but i do like them the very bold shoe this and the tl and people are going to be looking and for me when you're spending money on the shoes you definitely want people looking now these are actually retailing for 135 pounds and in this day and age that's an absolute steal especially Especially comparing it to the 95s and the TNs at retail. But comment down below, what do you prefer, the TL or the R4? Now in terms of sizing with the R4s, it is pretty much a true to size for me. Now these do have a more bulkier feel, but it doesn't really change the sizing. So yeah, honestly, just stick to your normal Nike sizing and you'll be fine. Now going around this shoe, and this is the only way I can hopefully show you the magic of the shocks, especially the R4. Now having that big bulk of a shoe, honestly such a statement now the upper materials on this pair is actually made of this sort of nylon and i really do like it because it has that sort of shine to it but at the same time it's very stealthy now, i just love the way this upper is constructed and one of the things i do really love is the subtle 3m on this sneaker it's not too in your face like some other shoes but i'm glad they've done it the little hits around the toe box and towards the back too but overall a very stealthy sneaker especially in this black colorway now the tongue is mostly in that mesh here with that Nike Shocks iconic logo towards the top with the brand in there too. And that logo for me is defo iconic. Now the reason this sneaker, in my opinion, is a very comfortable one is mostly because of how cushioned it is around the ankle. Now it is all blacked out here in terms of the sock liner and the insole, but yeah, we've got that orange Nike swoosh. Now towards the heel counter here, I do believe this is in reference to the Alpha series from Nike with those five dots at the back. I could be wrong, but that's the only reference that I can think of. I am a big fan of those perforation holes towards the ankle collar. Now the cherry on top with this sneaker are the four springs towards the back. It's the reason why it looks so good in my opinion and also why they're so comfortable. Now it doesn't actually look like it at first glance but there is an actual midsole towards the forefoot. It's just covered with the upper. Some might not actually like that but I mean for me it does actually work. But the R4s have always been ahead of its time in terms of its looks and the outsole here is just as cool with the outline of the springs towards the back and then the Nike Shocks logo in the middle and not to forget those traction panels towards the front. Now the R4s 
those aren't going to be everyone's cup of tea. But yeah, let's decide together whether these are a buy or a buy. Now, of all the Nike shocks coming out over the years, I think the R4s and the TLs are the one that stand out the most. Just in terms of what I've seen on people's feet and also collaborations too. Who can forget the Nike collab with Skepta on the TLs because that was a masterpiece. But I do think the Nike shocks in general, it's either you really like it or you stay away from it. And for the people who can pull it off and do like them, they absolutely love them. And I don't blame them. The comfort is top tier in my opinion and also the way they look. And you know what with all the shoes that nike have bought out over the years these still stand out which is mad how many air max have come out over the years that look so similar to each other and i've said it already the nike shocks technology was way ahead of its time but broskies i've said enough already it's defo a toss-up between the tls and the r4s i'm leaning more towards the r4s but yeah it could always change there's so much to love about this sneaker i am indeed going to give these an absolute <laughs> But comment down below and let me know what you think. Are the Nike Shocks your cup of tea or is this an absolute miss? Leave it all down below and I will pin the best comment. Anyways, broskies, thank you for stopping by. At the moment, we are streaming Mondays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. UK time. So if you can join me, obviously would be nice. But we have a good old waffle about what's coming out, what's the latest news, and also I chuck in some top fives as well. But until then, broskies, of course, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and yes, until the next episode, yeah. take care.